Alex, check my schedule. Do you, what does my afternoon look like? I think it's pretty wide open. Oh, wait, here's something at four o'clock. Give Alex a talking to? <laughs> well, well, that snuck up on us, didn't it? <laughs> Is there a problem? Yeah, let's not call it a problem. No, let's, uh, let's call it an opportunity mm. to solve a serious problem. <laughs> what did I do? You don't know? Oh, you poor dear. Your ovaries are squirting so much goofy juice into your brains, you don't even know which way is up. <laughs> you made an inappropriate sexual advance towards Dr. Hofstadter. What? I didn't make a sexual advance on anybody. You, now, there's no need to get defensive. I'm not unsympathetic to your plight. You, my father used to say that a woman is like an egg salad sandwich on a warm Texas day. <laughs> what? Full of eggs and only appealing for a short time. This conversation is making me uncomfortable. Yeah, you and me both, sister. Now, <laughs> Please understand, I don't hold you responsible for your behavior. You see, from an evolutionary standpoint, you're a slave to your desire to reproduce. But during the workday, when you feel possessed by amorous intent, may I suggest that you suppress it by leafing through this illustrated book of sexually transmitted diseases. <laughs> oh yes, uh, check out this oozy doozy. <laughs> to go. Yeah, what, now, so does this fellow, but he can't without it burning like hot soup. <laughs> Human Resources Department. <laughs> Human Resources Department. <laughs> Human Resources Department. Come in. Hello. Ah, uh, Dr. Cooper, have a seat. Thank you. Uh, I called you in today because your assistant, Alex Jensen, has lodged a complaint against you. So I've been told. But I can't understand what she has to complain about. I mean, she has a front row seat as I make scientific history. But there's string cheese in my mini fridge, and that's for anyone. <laughs> yeah, and just yesterday, I led her away from a life of sexual promiscuity by making her look at pictures of disease-ridden genitalia. <laughs> Cancel my next appointment. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Dr. Cooper, you said things to your employee that you just cannot say in the workplace. Like what? Well, according to Ms. Jensen, you said that she was a slave to her biological urges and called her an egg salad sandwich. <laughs> I don't even know what that means, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, you can't say it. <laughs> Oh, I see the confusion here. No, no, Alex thought I was singling her out. No, I meant that all women are slaves to their biological urges, you know? Yeah, even you. You're a slave. I'm a what? Well, you, you, I, I'm just saying, you know, at a certain point in a woman's menstrual cycle... <laughs> can't talk about that either, Dr. Cooper. Your language is entirely inappropriate, and I'm going to advise that you shut your mouth right now. Yeah, what do I, I don't see why I'm the one being persecuted here. You know, Dr. Hofstadter, he was bragging about his sexual desirability to anyone who would listen. You know, and Howard Wallowitz, he spent two years using university resources building a six-breasted sex robot. <laughs> yeah, and at the office Christmas party, I heard Rajesh Kuthrapali refer to you several times as brown sugar. <laughs> Hofstadter, Wallowitz, and the last one was Rajesh Kutharpali? Yes. You no, know, yeah, but in his defense, that wasn't racist. He's also brown. 